Greetings, ladies and gentlefish, and welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. Last time you were with us, we had just wandered through the Black Mage Village and also discovered slightly irritatingly that I appeared to have um, missed a Moogle delivery, which is slightly annoying. Managed to have a rummage around off camera and found out um, where that likely was. So if I go and refind the Moogle in the Black Mage Village, you'll see what I mean. Um, we also spoke to this thing and uh, read a, um, sorry, Moogle, this Moogle, it's not a thing. Yes, thank you, Loki, hashtag Moogle Lives Matter. Um, so, to Condi Petit was a letter from Stiltskin. From Stiltskin to Mogrio, I'm becoming familiar with the geography of the outer continent. My next destination is Condi Petit. They exchange a special greeting with each other before entering the village. What was it? I think it was Rally Ho. I want mail, Kupo, and actually when you read that letter for the first time, unfortunately I did it off screen, um, Mogrio says, I think it's Rally Kupo, Kupo, because, oh, Moogles. Um, but if we actually have a look at this, you can see I have letters to Mudon, Kupo, and Suzuna. Now, Mudon is in Limblum, and it's Limblum you go to before you visit the Outer Continent, so I've got a funny feeling I just missed delivering that letter to Mudon at the time, which is slightly irritating, not the end of the world, um, but slightly irritating, I just have to bear in mind to go back and try and do it. Kupo is in Alexandria, we will be coming to that after faffing around on the outer continent, and Suzuna is Condi Petit Mountain Path, so we'll be coming to that shortly. So let's go back to being outside of the Black Mage Village. We need to go back to the wonderful little dwarfy village up on the um, bridge thingamajigger and of course we have our trusty um, uh, what the hell are these things called? Chocobos, thank you. God, my brain has just died. Um, a trusty chocobo friend to help us out. Shut up. Yes, I know I haven't touched the alcohol. So, <laughs> let's just see if there's any chocographs left for us to deal with. I don't think there are at the moment. So what have we got? Uncultivated land. This is actually back on the Mist Continent, but it's in a somewhat awkward location. So it takes you a while before you can physically get there. Um, in order to actually reach the strip of... In order to, to, you know, wander around on the strip of land itself, you only need the field ability. But I, if memory serves, the earliest opportunity you have to access it is when your chocobo gets the mountain cross ability, becomes a red chocobo, then you can get straight there. Failing that, you have to use an airship to fly somewhere nearby, and it's a while before you get an airship. Coldfield, that's on a continent we haven't visited yet. Faraway Lagoon, ditto applies. Bird's Eye Lagoon, we've got Small Beach. This is also the case. I think this one's also on a... Um, continent we haven't visited yet. So, nope, none of these um, for us to worry about right now. Q's Marsh is of course over here if you feel like visiting it again and you know what, I think I do because it's always nice to go and see if you can catch any more frogs with Queena. So we're just going to see if uh, how many frogs there currently are. Now if we have a look, there's a tadpole there and there's a few regular frogs. I'm just going to have a quick butchers, um, but if there aren't that many frogs, I'm going to leave them be just to let the population recover, although the fact that there are tadpoles means I can kind of take advantage of this a little bit. So we've got one, two, three, yes I'm doing a bit of um, ecological conservation here, three tadpoles and three fully grown froggy frogs. And one, is that a juvenile frog? That's a juvenile frog. So, I'm going to catch a couple of the adult frogs. Um, you usually want to try and leave a male and a female left in the pond to allow the population to recover that bit quicker. Um, God damn it. Damn you and your froggy jumping ways. Yes, we'll keep you. Ooh, reward. You working hard, Queen. You come far a long way of Gomond. I give you this. Received elixir. Thank you, Master Quail. I train more. God knows how he teleports to this Q's Marsh. From the other Q's Marsh. I swear. And we'll keep the baby frog. Because that's gender has not yet been determined. And at that point, we're just going to let the population of frogs recover in this pond. Had enough, Queena? I don't catch him. 
Yes, I know in real life frogs can change their gender, but this isn't real life. This is a computer game made in the early 2000s. Um, it was a big enough game as it was at the time. By big, I mean physically big. It takes bleeding hours. I've currently got 21 hours on record on this particular playthrough that I've been recording for you. And, uh, yeah, we've got a long way left to go. <laughs> yes, you can do speedruns of this game, but I have no interest in doing that. So, back on Choco, and let's go back to Condi Petit. And in we go. Shut the hell up. <laughs> So, yes, yes, Loki's taking the mick out of my singing voice, or lack thereof. So, if you cast your minds back, we were trying to get to a place called Sanctuary. We need to work out how we're going to do that. So, Sanctuary is on the other side of that valley. But the exit leading there, from the upper floor, is guarded by a dwarf who won't let us through. Twin dwarfies block way out from shop on right side, no can get through. Hmm, well, let's just try and go as far as we can. Um, now, the fact that you have to get past dwarves in order to reach the sanctuary, this doesn't go as you might expect. You might be thinking you sneak in or you bribe your way in or something like that. Nope, nothing of the sort. Nope, 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 nope. So, there's a couple of different ways you can approach this. Um, basically, you can speak to a variety of different people and they give you the hints about how you get any further. Um, did you meet the Pinty Hits? I'm sorry, no. No, you know what? No. No. Feel free, no, though they can't hear you. Um, <laughs> did you meet the Pointy Hats? I, I can't do the T side that you really need to make it work. Yeah. A long time ago, a man once tried to head to the east of here, but he didn't. But he hadn't undergone the ceremony, so he couldn't pass through. So basically, you need to undergo the ceremony to get past this place. Now, there's a few different people you can talk to. Um, Pretty is home to a heap of good food. What's your favourite? This doesn't affect the story in any way. Boiled owl, seasoned dog lop, or fried root beans. Um, here's the thing. Boiled owl just sounds like boiled chicken, which is incredibly bland. Seasoned oglop. Well, this was him. I know Brian Rootrunner liked boiled owl. Um, seasoned oglop? Well, no thanks. Fried root beans. If it was up to me, I'd probably pick that, because it sounds like refried beans, and I quite like Mexican food. But let's go for boiled owl. Hmm, that's not bad. It doesn't affect the story in any way, but eh. Ooh, an outsider. How come you built your village on this spot? Because we feel the mountains, the woods, and the sun here more than anywhere else. See, Condi Petit is surrounded by the mountains, near to the woods, and blessed by the sun. Well, isn't that lovely? Let's talk to this Moogle as well. Always talk to Moogles. Magnet! I want mail, Koopo! Fine. Screw you, Koopo. Talk to this fellow. John Fruitbringer. Jenny's a bonnie lass, is she no? Rally ho, what can I do for you? It's just a generic item shop if memory serves. Yeah. Um, actually, do we want... Nah. Yeah, it's kind of... The thing, the thing with the way that they're writing it is... Uh, some of their speech sounds like it should be from Scotland. Some of it sounds like it should be from the Newcastle area. So it's kind of this weird Teesside meets Scotland mix. Which I think is otherwise known as Glaswegian, but you know, whatever. Right, rally ho! <laughs> You'll be needing a good weapon for the road, will you not? Right, now. This, oh, um, I already have a set of poison knuckles. I can't remember if I've already bought this. Multi in a racket. Um, buying poison knuckles is not a bad plan here, by the way. Stardust rod, flame staff, ice staff, lightning staff, oak staff. Oh, we've already got an oak staff, of course. Mithril fork, mithril. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, we don't need any of this tat. Do, do, do. Let's talk to these guys. Say, I want to get through here. Never! Only those who've received the ceremony can pass. What the heck is the ceremony? 
speak to his holiness. And where is his holiness? I don't know where he is. Well, that's incredibly helpful, isn't it? So, in order to get through, you have to undergo the ceremony. In order to find out about the ceremony, you have to speak to his holiness. Can you see where this is going yet? Great. Um, ah, he looks like he's in suitably flamboyant attire. Kelly Fingerweaver, this is where we give thanks to the sun and the moon. Whatever. Oh, no, it's not him. It's someone else in suitably overly flung, dramatic, flouncy clothing. Um, but yeah, Betsy Lightcatcher. Here, a man and a woman are joined by the blessing of the sun. Do you get it yet? Of course, we're a bit too young to receive the blessing just yet. Jeffrey Treefeller, someday I want to be joined to Betsy on top of the Kirk boat. And afterwards, we'll go to the sanctuary to inscribe our names together. Uh, uh, are you there yet? Right. So, here's His Holiness, Sir Lord Pompington Von Smythe. Hey, mister, are you the holy guy? I love how Zidane approaches people. I, I'm Father David. What are you doing hanging around this hallway? Well, a priest has much to worry about, you see. Yeah, whatever. Look, we, can, we want to get past this village. Hm. Tradition states that only those who undergo the ceremony can approach the sanctuary. So basically, the sanctuary is the only thing really past this village. Except it's not. So this is a bit... Th this bit of the story is a little weird, I'm not going to lie. You need to get to the sanctuary, quote-unquote. Which is the other side of this village. But it's not the only thing the other side of this village. Although, to be fair... I mean, because there was there is also another settlement the other side. And so you'd have thought they'd have, like, trade deals with them or something, but apparently not. They just go, huh, the only way you can get through is to undergo the ceremony. So what the heck is that ceremony about, anyway? Well, after a man and a woman are blessed in holy union, they leave on a holy pilgrimage to the sanctuary. So basically it's a wedding and a honeymoon, right? Yeah. I don't really understand your words, but I think you get the idea. So, we can go to the sanctuary if we undergo that ceremony, right? Oh, hey, Dagger. So, yeah, that's the deal. What do you think? We can go if we get hitched, but there's no way we'd actually... Let's do it. Oh, Edward. So, you want to be joined, eh? The ceremony's only for dwarves, see? But we have so few young folk these days. We're down to 99 couples. I was worrying about that very thing. But what's the harm? Now we can have a hundredth ceremony. I'd like to point out there's barely like 20 people in this entire village. How have they already got 99 couples? Uh, I mean, is it... <laughs> actually, Loki's made a good point. When they go to the sanctuary, the guys haven't leveled up, so actually it's just a road full of corpses. And they're killed by the local wildlife. Um, now we can have our hundredth ceremony. Uh, Dagger, what's going on? Spirits of the mountains, spirits of the wood. Uh, now, how did I get into this? Watch over this man and woman as they begin their journey. We've got to do this ceremony to get past this village. And only a guy and girl can have the ceremony because the dwarves are not very progressive, you see. Now, hold on a sec, Dagger. Don't you get it? This is marriage. M -a -r -r M-A-R-R-I-A-G-E. No kidding, but we have to go on, right? Yeah, but, but that's not reason enough. Oh, come on. What is she thinking? She's supposed to get angry and say no way. In sickness and in health, of course, we just trying to get past this village. Have the strength to carry you through the trials. Could it be that she likes me? And the wisdom to follow the path. Gotta admit, I was pretty deep that night in the Black Mage village. Maybe that's why she, when she fell for me. I'm such a stud. May the blessings of heaven be upon this man and woman. Dagger, now we're man and wife. Time for the kiss. Yeah, have a... <laughs> Playing hard to get, eh? Uh-huh. 
Happy fit. Now you need announce your joining to the twins at the other gate. What? You mean there's more? We have to follow tradition, lad. Ah, oh, well. Time for us newlyweds to make the rounds, Dagger. Remember, we're only married while we're here. Bliss is so fleeting. Zidane, what are we supposed to do? Hey, you guys trying to ruin our honeymoon? Because of course Vivi and Queena... Can you see where this is going now? Vivi and Queena have not undergone the ceremony, so technically they can't get through. But you can no just leave us here. Don't worry, I'll figure something out. Right, so... Either first let's go see the twins, in which case, if memory serves, I think it's Vivi and Queen are trying to sneak past and it all gets a bit weird. Or, if you want, you can say, why don't you guys get married too and have a vaguely entertaining, if decidedly weird, ceremony between a nine-year-old black mage and a god only knows what age, whatever that thing is. But it's funny, so you know, whatever. Why don't you guys get married too? Now I would like to point out before anyone starts going, Oh my god, he's suggesting a nine-year-old gets married. I would like to point out, Vivi is an entirely different species to Zidane, with an entirely different life expectancy, and an entirely different, um... Maturity rating? What am I doing maturity rating? Like, he matures at a different rate. So, just because he is nine in kind of... Our parlance, he has been on this earth for nine years, or been on this world for nine years. That doesn't necessarily mean that he is the maturity of a nine-year-old. See where I'm going with that? So that aspect of it, at least, is not as weird as it at first seems. Everything else is friggin' strange. Yeah, that's it. In the meantime, Dagger and I can go announce our marriage. Cue active time event called Nuptial Joy. Steiner isn't there to get in the way. Have the strength to carry you through the trials. Well, this is awkward. And the wisdom to follow the path. Shut up about the levelling. May the <laughs> May the blessings of heaven be upon this man and woman. Yeah, shut up. Worth pointing out, Vivi is definitely male, Queener is definitely we not sure what. So... <gasps> I'm so happy. M me too. Oh god, thief! So, if you just go straight to the twins, you kind of skip past that vaguely amusing little scene. The guards do get distracted by the thief and Vivi and Queena can sneak through. But I like to get them married every time, it just vaguely amuses me. Hi guys, we're the newlyweds, Dane and Dagger. Rally ho, happy fit, off to the sanctuary then, are you? That's right, will you let us through now? Rally ho, of course, safe journey to you both. And then they just clear off. And they leave the road completely empty. So anyone can walk through from this point onwards. And from what I remember, the guards never come back. Throughout the entire rest of the game. That's it. They just go, oh, well, you're the 100th couple. Well, screw this game for a game of soldiers and clear off. Let's be off, my darling. Thief! Huh? Mog, hurry! Kipo, stop, thief! What's going on? I don't know. Let's go take a look. Now, I've got a funny feeling I've forgotten to do a thing that might actually be useful. Um, eh. Never mind. I think we might get an opportunity in a moment. They got away. You ran, like, 20 feet and then decided they got away. You lazy... And we can't go any further because apparently they're not allowed to leave the village because... They haven't undergone the ceremony, you see? This is all really convoluted and silly. Does anyone live out here? Of course not, it's forbidden. Yeah, but we've already established marriage can only take place between two people of opposite genders. This dwarven village is not progressive. Okay, they are dwarves, so male, female, who can tell the difference. Um... <laughs> And they say, oh, the two thieves are always snitching food, whilst at the same time saying no one is, can possibly live beyond there. Well, clearly they do. Just saying. 
God, these guys are a bit thick. I'll catch them next time. Oh, hi guys. So, you've had your ceremony, right? Yeah. Thief have nerve to steal food right in front of me. Okay, time to press on. Right, so. Queena is... <laughs> Queena is very shortly going to depart your party for a short while. Not permanently, but just for a while. So I would remove anything that she's wearing. Um, because you want that kit for anyone else that you might be dealing with. And no comments about Queena now being naked, please. Um, so, we've unequipped Queena. Without further ado, Whee! down this way, down yonder, and round the corner. And here we go. Hey. Kipo po Hurry, Mog, before we get caught. Kipo. What's wrong, Mog? K Kipo. Wait, don't leave me here. Ah, stuck on a branch, betrayed by my own trusted Moogle. Is this how I meet my end? Mog, I'm gonna haunt you if I die here. Oh, am I hallucinating? That person has no horn. Bit of an odd comment, but let's just run with it. He has a tail, though. Yeah, th that is a bit odd. Huh? Ah! Help! Don't eat me! I won't taste good! It's true, I taste awful. You heard her, Queena. I see. Too bad. But Moogle that ran away a very strange colour. I go find and eat it. No, don't! Incoming! Ah! Gotcha. Th thanks. Are you okay? Yeah. You're not hurt? I told you I'm okay. I'm not a child like that kid in blue. Don't look any older than me. She's no older than him. In fact, she's younger. Are you kidding? And I do have a name, you know. Right, so feel free to rename her whatever you see fit. Um, race Horned Human. Anyway. Um, <laughs> and no, that's the bow that she wears on her head. I'd like to point out that those white things, that's a bow. Um, but she also she also has a um, uh, a horn poking out of her forehead. Well, not quite a forehead; it's a bit higher up. Um, yeah, we're gonna stick with her default name because yeah, screw it. The name's Iko. Shouldn't you introduce yourself before addressing a lady? You introduced yourself first. You got a problem? I'm Dagger, and this is Vivi. Yeah? What about you? Me? I'm Zidane. Zidane. Alright. So, Miss Iko, why did you steal from the village? I was hungry. <laughs> you sound just like Queena. Hey, did they really go chasing after that Moogle? Oh no, they're gonna eat Mog! I don't think Queena would eat a Moogle. Do you live nearby, Iko? Yeah, beyond this path. I'm sure Mog went home. Why don't we take her home? Yes, yes, anything for my lovely wife. You two are married? Yep, we're newlyweds. N no, we're just friends. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. I want to be your friend too. Alright then, let's go to our new friend's house. Hurrah, we just gained a new character. So, let's actually equip her with some stuff. She comes with a golem's flute, um, which allows her to learn auto-regen, cura, and life. Not too shabby. Um, the rackets, by the way, are shared by both white mages, her and dagger. Either of them can equip them. Apart from that, the flutes are equipped by Iko and the rods are equipped by dagger. So you could swap that out for an air racket to learn panacea or a maltina racket to learn shell for uh, example, I'm going to stick with the default for now because Cura and Life are both very, very useful and will be very useful shortly. 
Um, feather hat, bright eyes, and add status. Sorry. What I want to do. Now, at this point, I would also recommend. Just a sec. I'm just seeing if you can learn any abilities. Protect. Slow. Insomniac. Clear headed and float. We're actually going to equip Lamy as Tiara. Um, there is a reason. Um, doop, 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 doop. Let's go with Antibody. She's learning Cure from that. And, okay, Fenrir and High Tide. Is there anything else we might want to use instead? Yes. So, right. Here's the thing. You are soon going to come across a boss, and the boss you uses Earth Magic. So any way you have got to mitigate that is your friend. Now, Desert Boots reduce Earth damage received by 50%, which is good. Lamia's Tiara allows Ico to learn Float. When you cast Float on someone, they start levitating, and it makes them immune to Earth damage, which is also good. So there's a couple of different options there. I'm just going to check other people's equipment. Um, and see what we can get away with. Raises Earth Elemental Attack. That's not colossally helpful. Okay. Right, now let's equip some abilities to her. Let's go with Auto Regen. This is the first time actually you've come across Auto Regen. It automatically casts Regen in battle. Regen is a status effect that makes you gradually regain health. Um, it's quite a common ability to have in throughout Final Fantasy games, auto regen that is. Um, in Final Fantasy IX, when you get to higher levels, it's kind of, it's a very good ability to have. It's good to have throughout, it's just quite expensive as you can see here. It takes quite a few gems. Um, in other Final Fantasy games, it's not as strong, but in Final Fantasy IX, auto regen is a pretty darn strong ability. We're also going to go with, we don't really need antibody at the moment, let's go clear headed because of where we are. Okay, so without further ado, um, at this point we can also pick up some items. So, we're going to climb up here and we're going to unlock this chest. Hurrah, we receive a remedy. Um, if we head to the right, we can also get a blue stone. You do want to collect these coloured stones, by the way. Blue stone, yoink. I'm just gonna have a quick look in the key items section. See the description. Blue water flows with time. It streams and sings as it travels into the ocean. David Heavenguard. That was the priest. Definitely didn't marry us. So there's that. We can then scramble back down these vines. And down here. Here. There's a tent, and I think we can get redstone, yoink. Again, let's just check the description. Fire was a gift from the heavens, it must never be used for evil. one of these oglops. Frigging oglops! Damn it. If you can catch one of those oglops, you can hand it back to one of the guys in um, Condi Petit for an oglop card. Dad! Botherations, they run away a lot. Uh, it's not the end of the world if you don't. Um, hello, still skin. You can get oglop cards other ways, so don't worry too much about it. Right, um, so we're going to talk to Stiltskin. It's generally worth, it's always worth taking his offers. Um, you'll now notice he's selling an ether, a tent, and a magic tag. We've not come across a magic tag before. It's an item that allows you to heal the zombie status effect, which we've not had to worry about yet. It's a really annoying status effect. We'll buy those for 666 gil. There we go. 
Thanks, buddy. With this money, I can continue my journey. We're also going to talk to the Moogle here. Mognet gives Susanna a letter. Thanks for delivering mail from Mogmat. Mogmat just moved to a new home. I was worried about him, Kupo. From Mogmat to Susanna. Suzuna. It's been six months since I started living in Condi Petit. The food here is great and the people are very nice, Kupo. But, but the only thing I can't get used to is the Rally Ho. I keep saying Rally Kupo. Village life sounds hard, Kupo. Yeah, so hard. I'll give you this in exchange for delivery. Kupo Nut! Yay! I want mail, Kupo. We've now freed up a space, by the way, so that we could go back to the Black Mage Village and pick up the letter. Um, I might do that off camera. I might do it now and just edit it out, actually. Um, so, we're also going to save our game here because there's a Moogle and we can. So, we'll go and pick up, see if we can pick up the letter from the Moogle in the Black Mage Village. Um, once you reach this junction, however, if you're not going to head back, you then have a bit of a choice. You can either... Do, 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 which way is it that we need to go? You can go left or you can go right at this junction. Obviously. If you take the um, left-hand path... Uh, let's go right first and you'll, you'll see something that I need. Let's take the right-hand path first. So, right-hand, you end up coming across a statue. Okay. You can't do much with this statue yet. I mean, you could put these stones in, but there's still some missing ones. So just take a note of the statue's location. From here, you would be heading left. There's a boss battle that way. I'm actually going to take this opportunity to go and um, grab... See if I can pick up the letter from the Black Mage Village now that I have a spare delivery slot. 